Welcome to Going the Extra Mile, a podcast brought to you by New Leaf Training and Development. Each edition is sure to lift your spirit and encourage you in today's working world. Enjoy. Customer retention. I'm a believer that organizations are really just a group of people with a leadership ribbon wrapped around them, holding them together. The ties might be stronger within some organizations than others based on factors such as pay, benefits, bonus plans, flexible work from home policies and the like. But people do have so much choice on whether to stay or to go. I saw this for myself this past week. My barber quit, I switched gyms, and my mechanic tells me he's moving out of state. Each of these were based on an individual's free choice to tear the ribbon. It was great to find a barber who cut my hair just how I like it done. The other aspect of my barber, which I very much appreciated, was the fact that he read me so well. He could tell when I wanted to chat and the times I wanted to chill in his chair. So why did he leave? I know that sadly he'd gone through a divorce and that he wanted a change of scenery. I turned up one day and he hadn't. As Jim Morrison, the doors once sang, people are strange. I'm hopeful that the barbershop will still deliver on its promise due to the leadership and quality of processes wrapped around the customer experience. I will miss my barber, but I remain confident in his replacement. I loved my gym. Notice that's past tense. There were two factors that caused me to make the move. One was to do with process and the other to do with people. In 2022, when there's an app for everything, it's fully expected that a gym member should be able to book classes online. Not only did my gym not have an app, but they also didn't have a functioning website where you could actually see classes coming up. Their lack of efficient processes let them down time and time again. In the past, I'd overlooked the inefficient processes because their people were so warm, genuine and friendly. I knew each receptionist and every one of the fitness trainers out on the floor. COVID-19 shook up many things and my my gym was not immune. The reception staff suffered 100% labour turnover and of the fitness staff, only one person has remained at their station. Sadly now, the reception staff seem much more interested in their phones than actually receiving their guests. Little to no eye contact, no welcoming smile, just an arm lift of the scanner to record the guest entrance and then back to the wonderful world or whatever they're looking at on the soul-crushing device in their hand. So poor processes were strike one that I was willing to put up with due to their previously great people that were clearly trained and led well. Now the latter is gone, I'm out of there too. When we have so many choices as a consumer, I'd rather take my business to another box building where they have modern processes and fully engaged people who actually want to be doing what they're doing. One of the greatest reliefs in life is to find a mechanic you can trust. And so this week I was gutted when he told me he's moving out of state as he received an offer he couldn't refuse. One that was a big win for him and his young family. My mechanic's name is Kevin. I've only dealt with Kevin in the shop and I don't know the owner or any of the other mechanics. So the jury's out on this one. I'll stick with the mechanic because Kevin represented his colleagues and the ownership so well. In summary, I'm confident the barber shop will have another great barber for me as I trust in their leadership, their brand and their core processes. I changed gyms because the process and the new people didn't deliver. I'm going to stick with my mechanic because one person made all the difference to me. It does indeed seem that customer retention comes down to efficient processes delivered by effective people both of which are loosely held together with a ribbon wrapped around them. And if you look really closely, what's written on the ribbon is the L word, leadership, or the O word, ownership. I hope you found that short story useful. And if you did, feel free to rate, review, and share this podcast. We'll be back next week with another episode, and we also invite you to check out our other weekly podcast, Take 5, an inspiring interview with a leader worth listening to. Bye for now.